Hey guys, the Duke and Dude here. I uh, just wanted to do a, an audio commentary regarding the uh, anime endings from episodes uh, 6 through 9. Now, uh, originally I wanted to point out these anime endings were actually like an afterthought because this was more like a contribution from a friend who pretty much wanted to uh, collaborate for these episodes. So, Kuro-chan, who did most of these animations, he just wanted to do this as sort of like a, you know, something that, something that he could do to chip in. So yeah, if you're a fan of uh, Rosen Maiden, this is actually based off of the, I believe it's the Overture song. Well, this is pretty much like a side-by-side -side, uh, comparison of uh, the actual uh, the actual ending. Now, of course, I'm refraining from actually showing um, the original anime as well as music as much as possible because, you know, uh, copyright concerns. I mean, originally I wanted to do that, but uh, I, I just chose not to, so. Yeah, I mean, you can tell the attention to detail. This is pretty much like one giant uh, frame just being drawn completely from top to bottom. So, um, yeah, while he did the animation, I while he did the illustration, I did the animation, which is basically panning from top to bottom. So that's basically it, Flash, using a, an effect called tweening. So uh, for those who are interested in practicing Flash or Adobe Anime, how it's called, th there you go. I mean, it's it's a... It's a really neat attention to detail, all, all the stuff that he put in there. And of course, I uh, accepted this under one condition. I get my own anime ending as well. <laughs> so of course, this one was actually based off of uh, Slayers, the third season called Slayers Tribe. Now, if you're familiar with the characters Lena Inverse, Gauri Gabriev, for example, yeah, I, I pretty much wanted to use them as like sort of like uh, references for Link and Zelda in, in that sense. So uh, of course it's basically the same thing and just doing a lot of uh, a, a lot of panning with certain characters. This one in particular was pretty much um, like redraw redraw the entire like uh, cast of characters from the anime and just zeldify everything, and it, it worked to an extent. I mean you can tell that uh, Link right there doesn't have an eye. Well actually that's just the whole anime trope of like the hair covering the eye. So that's basically Gauri right there and Lena being uh, Zelda. Now, of course, this is actually like the one I'm most proud of because, well, it's at least like 80, maybe 90% as faithful as, as the original. Save for like this one scene in particular, which I couldn't really animate because, well, I'm not much of an animator and neither was he, so this was more of an illustration. So this was like as best that we, as we could do to actually get this right. So I, I, out of all of them, this is like one of my personal favorites. So of course, I eventually got Kuro-chan to do one for episode 8. Uh, this time around, it's based off of Toho, and uh, the song is called Opposite World. And of course, the outro is basically most of the frames uh, doing the illustrations on their own. While of course, on the right side, it's supposed to be the text. So um, yeah, this was, this was mostly done by Kuro-chan with a little help of Shadow Warrior Luke, who actually did the uh, additional animation for this part while I was actually busy, you know, working on episodes 8 and 9. Basically, like the the script of uh, the script and the animation process of episode eight and nine, they did the the outro basically. So uh, yeah, you can actually appreciate the attention to detail that they put. That the, there are certain frames that actually have animations, and there are others that don't or just still frames. But it's actually neat just comparing this side by side with the original material. Now, uh, also of course, I had to get like someone else to do a cover for this song for me. So. If you want to do like an actual comparison between this and the original one, this it might end up being like out of sync, so to speak. But this is like as best as I could do to actually like match it up as best as possible. So of course I couldn't use the original, the original song in, because of you know copyright concerns. And again, I wanted to do the side by side comparisons, but I don't think it's a good idea right now given YouTube's uh, <clears throat> reputation with copyrights. But yeah, I mean it, it's really neat just to do these side-by-side -side comparisons. If uh, if you're interested in, in this, in checking it out, or if you're a big Toho fan, I'll leave that up to you. I mean, all of this was pretty much based off of like a, a sort of like a chibi style, probably like a Wind Waker, Minish Cap kind of thing, and it's it actually suits it well. Now, unfortunately for episode 9, I had to get uh, Osuka to help me out with this one, and of course, Kuro-chan wasn't available due to health issues, among other things. So, of course, Asuka did uh, mostly this animation, influenced by Dragon Ball GT. It's one of those love-hate animes. So, um, yeah, this one I just, um, we, we had this, like, idea of, like, focusing on Link, trying to go through this, like, maturing phase, like, when he goes, like, from childhood to adulthood. Then, of course, like, doing our take of him going Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 4. 
but instead it goes um, Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time, Oracles, Oracle of Ages Seasons, and then of course Twilight Princess, and of course in that in that particular order. So it's just a neat a neat a little detail that we decided to like play around with. And of course, uh, he did mostly the foreground animations while we had to get someone to actually do the background animations. So we got someone from DeviantArt uh, that goes by the name of Memphistin, who actually did these two backgrounds for us. So um, yeah, it actually helped us out big time. Um, I think if I have to nitpick this a little bit, I mean, I, I just feel like the uh, the drawing should have been a little more polished, a little a little better quality. But for what it is, it was worth it. It was totally worth it. Now, um, oh yeah, there's like one final thing I should point out. For those who haven't seen like the the 80s Zelda cartoon, well, that's the, kind of the reference right there. <laughs> the whole excuse me princess stuff, yeah, you get the idea. Um, regarding episode 10, that one didn't really have an anime intro or, or ending in particular because, well, two reasons. One, it was because of a lack of staff and two, lack of time. And basically it was just me animating the entire thing from beginning to end and uh, do I have uh, plans for any anime type intros well I'm trying to get one thing off the ground um, I've been wanting to do like a reference to the like, like the first uh, Slayers anime intro and uh, I'm trying to see if I can actually get someone to animate it for me um, but yeah things have changed drastically over the years back then <laughs> when when I was still in Newgrounds money wasn't much of an issue and everyone just chipped in you know just for the love of art uh, but nowadays, things uh, since things have changed so drastically because of you know the internet and everyone's trying to make money as, as best they can and just you know trying to invest in things, I, I'm also trying to see if I can look into investing in uh, in an animator to help me out with this. So uh, if you wish to contribute, feel free to do so. I'm on Patreon. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get that uh, that anime intro based off of Slayers on the off the ground. As for endings, I don't really have like any planned as of yet, but who knows what will happen. I mean, anything can happen. Something will just be a, a like a random afterthought and I'll just include it in the final version of the episode. So we'll see. But anyway, I just wanted to share this little bit of, of uh, trivia and detail just to add a little something extra to the channel. Uh, while you guys wait for Four Swords 11, and of course I'm still like developing the rest of the uh, animation of the of that episode. So, of course, I already have like, the first two scenes available, so feel free to check them out. The next two scenes I'm currently working on, so um, that's about it. Uh, until next time, take care. See ya.